Palmetto Mountain man. I'm out here in the backyard today and I, I wanna show I wanna show people how little it takes to to make a magnet for deer. Uh just showing you as I'm walking right here, this food plot in my backyard, from where I'm standing to the end of the green directly in front of this phone, I'm gonna say it's 35 yards. Uh, the width is probably seven, eight yards across. I do have a corn feeder here. I put corn in it. Uh, a lot of times I take cob corn and scatter it on the edge of this food plot. Anyhow, you give them corn is like candy. But as far as what you put in the ground, tonnage of food, that's going to give them their nutrition. Uh, right here on the edge... <clears throat> which my property line is not far from where I'm filming. I have a lot of volunteer sweet gums uh, The small ones they get so high I bend them over the taller sweet gums What I'll do is I'll hinge cut them when I hinge cut them and they fall over. I basically just made a funnel For uh, anything that's in the woods that wants to come to this food plot uh, They're not gonna walk through all of this and then duck underneath that sweet gum limb. I'm not saying they won't. I'm saying path of least, uh, least resistance. Give them an option. You can walk out in this clear stuff straight to this food, or you can go through all of this, you know? Gives them a choice, but it makes them, you know, feel secure too. Uh, this right here I planted with clover. It's just one little small area that's on the side of uh, that food plot. As you can see, there's my mineral site. Rained a good bit lately. And, uh, well, when it dries up a little bit, there'll be uh, deer will be in it like it's uh, like cake batter. These self-volunteered trees you see right here with no limbs until way up, those are uh, volunteer uh, persimmon trees. I surely left them. Uh, I took a, a large plastic container, cut it in half, and dropped it in the ground. Uh, this food plot it slopes downhill So when we get a heavy heavy rain and this little divot fills up with water It's like a, a self-filling whatever doesn't go into here Goes straight down in the woods in that direction and that happens to be the direction that uh, that the deer come out to the food plot too most of the time uh, Got a small feeder right here I fill it up with corn. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoy watching the squirrels and the cardinals eat out of it while I'm watching the food plot. Uh, I, uh, blah, blah, blah. I wanna say seven, eight yards from right here to that ground blind. Have I shot deer at seven or eight yards? Yes, I have. And it is a rush. I only bow hunt this or hunt it with my crossbow. But uh, between that small feeder giving yourself some shooting lanes directly in front of the blind itself which i'm walking toward got a shooting lane shooting lane if you got if you can put something that is established such uh as a ground blind uh camouflage around it uh supply water supply food supply a little bit of cover as they come to get the food in the food plot, supplement that with corn or something beside what you grow out of the ground, then have some volunteer uh, persimmon trees, crab apple, uh, anything like that. I, I do have a few oaks around here, but they're water oaks. Uh, that I do have one or two red oaks, no white oaks to be seen. But I do have honeysuckle that they eat on. A green briar that grows in around this uh, 35 yards by seven or eight wide water uh, mineral site and uh, throw some fertilizer on it you know once you get it established I mean you, you, you can't beat it for the size and location it's my backyard uh, I guarantee I don't waste a lot of gas going here and uh, there is no long ride home at the end of the day uh, hunting but uh, I just thought I'd show it and share it. And I'll talk to y'all later.